All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are for, um, it is Sunday, um, wait. Yeah, it is Sunday, um, July 16, 2023. We're doing the autograph 8x10 collection here on Facebook Live. I'll post these to YouTube later. Um, we're going to continue now with binder number two. We just left off with the big boss man, and here we are opening up binder number two with our good pal, Big Bullet Busek. He had about a three- or four-month run in the WWF from August of 91 until November of 91. And he said, now the WWF is going to have a real bully. So there he is, Big Bully Busick. Nice signature. He was a good friend. Talked to you online, too, and everything like that. But um, sadly, I think passed away from cancer in the last few years. So Big Bully Busick. And um, here's some stuff he personally sent me. It says, to Todd, all the best, Big Bully Busick, WWE 1991. And there is a photo of him coming down the aisle with Wimpleman in the background. So the bully, big bully music. And here's a second one he sent me. This is him when he met Bruno San Martino. And it says big bully music. And there he is with Bruno. Um, signed again by our good pal Nick Busick, the bully. All right, next is an extremely rare autograph. This is Big Dick Dudley. Big Dick Dudley is one of the Dudley boys in ECW. But um, he... Uh, I think since passed away, he's a big guy. Not too many graphs of him out there. I got this from Scott Ferenzi. So nice one there of Big Dick Dudley. And then on the back here, I, I got some stuff in the mail. This is from Sign Guy Dudley. So he mailed these to me directly. He wrote, ouch, Sign Guy Dudley, ECW. And he signed right here again, Sign Guy Dudley. So pretty cool ones there of Sign Guy Dudley. I decided to put it behind Big Dick. Next is a super rare one here. Um, he's worth a lot of money because he died like in 95. So it's Big John Studd. He signed it to Big Andy. So he signed it to a guy named Andy. Big John Studd. So nice, nice one there of um, the giant Big John Studd there. And pretty cool photo there of him as Big John Studd. Right, this is another one of a Big John Studd signed on like um, a page on a program or something. He signed it twice. So he wrote Big John Stud by himself in green tights. And then he signed on Andre the Giant as well. He wrote Big John Stud. So these are both signed by Big John Stud. He signed it twice. And if Andre knew about this, he would be really pissed, I think. So Big John Stud um, signed twice, once by himself, once by Andre. This is on a Madison Square Garden um, program type page or something. There you see the back of that program page. All right, next is another rare graph. Um, Matt Bourne as Big Josh from WCW. So he wrote Big Josh, a.k.a. Matt Bourne. So there he is with his axe and everything. So the legendary Big Josh. All right, next is Big Machine. So Big Machine, I believe, was played by Demolition Axe. And the Super Machine was played by Blackjack Mulligan, I think. So this is signed as Big Machine. Signed down there in the blue uh, markers. It's hard because it's like dark on dark. So you see it there. Big Machine. There he is in the ring. All right. Next is a new one I have. It's the Big Show. And it's Beckett certified. So that means it's real. There's the Big Show posing to the crowd. Getting ready for his match. So a nice photo there of the Big Show. Next is a new one I got. This one I just got a few days ago. This is Big Vito. So you mainly just know as Vito, but I put it under B's because he wrote Big Vito on the inscription. So I guess in WCW they call them Big Vito. Though. Okay. I also have him as a combo with the FBI. So Vito. Next we have Bill Alfonso. And he wrote um, Bill Alfonso Fonzi. And there's the Straw Hat Guy fan in the background. It says... Fonzie made walking, dead man walking, I guess. Fonzie dead man walking, signed by Bill Alfonso, um, the legendary ECW referee. Also refed in WWF and WCW, so he's in all three big federations. Um, here's a guy who loves to spread the dirt sheets and talk to you. This is Bill Apter. He gives you all the latest wrestling news. So this is Bill Apter, championship office wrestling champion. So Bill Apter, sign over here. Next is Bill DeMott, and he signed over here like a little bit dark to see, but he's like in a tie-dye shirt. 
the tank top. So Bill DeMott, who also played Hugh Morris, signed there as Bill DeMott. This is signed by Bill Dundee. Um, Dylan Hines uh, bringing him in for some conventions and signings, I believe. Bill Dundee, though, uh, also managed, he's known as Sir William, managed Lord Stephen Regal, but also knows a wrestler and good friends with Jerry the King Lawler. So, Bill Dundee. Next is Bill Goldberg, and he's signed right here as Bill Goldberg on the bottom. So, it looks like he's ready to destroy somebody and beat them up. Bill Goldberg. There's another one, a small photo there of Bill Goldberg. Next is Cowboy Bill Watts. So Bill Watts here, nice enough to sign some stuff for us. And there he is signing it as Bill Watts. Cowboy Bill Watts. Father of Eric Watts, good promoter. This guy died not, not too long ago. Superstar Billy Graham. He used to come out to Jesus Christ Superstar. Great theme song. And look at those muscle arms. Hulk Hogan wanted to be like him. And so did Jesse Ventura. There he is, the superstar, Billy Graham. Inspired Don Morocco as well. This is dual signed here. It's signed by superstar Billy Graham. And it's signed by the referee Dick Kroll. Ivan Putski also in the picture, but only signed there by Billy Graham and Dick Kroll because they're going to have an arm wrestling match at some wrestling show. So again, signed by Billy Graham and Dick Kroll. Next we have badass Billy Gunn. And he's signed there as Billy Gunn. You can see Road Dog and X-Pac in the background, but just signed there by Billy Gunn. Next, we have Billy Jack Haynes. Some people call him Billy Jerk Haynes, but there he is, signed there. Billy Jack Haynes. Interesting gimmick um, in the old school WWF. Here's a second one of Billy Jack Haynes. He's around again like 86, 87, early 88. Giving Smash the uh, full Nelson. Smash trying to get out of it. Only signed, though, by Billy Jack Haynes. All right, next we have Billy Kidman. Signed there in a blue paint pen. So I have a cool WWE type promo picture from 2005. Signed by Billy Kidman. Next we have Black Bart. Um, apparently he's like, health not going so good. I think ESS just did a private signing with him. I got this one a while back though. So this is Black Bart with the title belt. Pretty cool in a paint pen. Next we have Black Jack Mulligan. He's also the father of Barry Windham. Great wrestler, Black Jack Mulligan. Used to do this like um, spinning back elbows a finisher. Pretty cool move. This is um, Barry Darso. Again, he's got a bunch of gimmicks. This is one as Black Top Bully as he's going to work on Dustin Rhodes. So a cool photo there signed by Black Top Bully. Next we have the Blue Brothers. You have Jacob and Eli Blue. So Jacob Blue here, Eli Blue there. They're also known as the Harris Twins. But there they are, dual sign photo there as the Blue Brothers, Jacob and Eli Blue. And there's a second one of them in color this time. So Eli Blue there, Jacob Blue over there. They're also known again as the Harris Brothers. Um, also Skull and April from DOS. They played a couple gimmicks, but there they are as um, the Blue Brothers. Uh, this is super rare. It's the Blue Blazer, and he wrote um, Blue Blazer over here. It's hard to see. It's like in blue. So Blue Blazer. And then over here, he signed it as Owen Hart. Okay. So it says Owen Hart, and it looks like he signed this in 1991. It says 91 there. So Owen Hart here, and Blue Blazer over there. So pretty cool photo of him, like, in action, wrestling in a match, taking off his, like, singlet. Posing to the crowd and signing it there like in a bluish color here. Blue blazer there and Owen Hart there. So nice dual signed photo of the late great Owen Hart as the blue blazer. Not too many grass of him out there. So this is a nice one to have in my collection. Next, this one came from our good pal ESS. It's the Blue Bloods. So it's Lord Stephen Regal here. Earl Robert Eaton over there. So it says Earl Robert. So Lord Steven Regal and Earl Robert, the Blue Bloods. I love that theme song. Dun, 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 dun. All right, next you have um, Blue Dust, along with a manager named Patricia. I don't know who Patricia is, but this is the Blue Meanie as Blue Dust. And Patricia signed it over there. So nice dual signed ECW photo of Blue Dust with Patricia. 
If anyone um, watches this video knows who Patricia is, let me know um, and what year she was in ECW, so I don't recall her. But there she is smoking a cigar with Blue Dust, who was the Blue Meanie. All right, this is a solo one of the Blue Meanie. He wrote the Blue Meanie, BWO, Teddy Long, the ref in the background, but only signed by the Blue Meanie. All right, next is a triple signed Blue World Order one. So we have Hollywood Nova up there, who is Simon Dean. We have Big Stevie Cool over here, and then we have the Blue Meanie over there. So Steven Richards, Hollywood Nova, and the Blue Meanie triple signed BWO photo from ECW. All right, next is our good pal, um, Bo Dallas. All right, Bo Dallas signed over here. This is one of the um, kids of um, Mike Rotunda. So Bo Dallas with his hands crossed there, pretty cool. And that's high spot certain. Next we have Bob Backlund. So he wrote WWF champion Bob ba uh, WWF champion Bob Backlund. PMA, um, WF champion, something. I, I don't understand what he wrote, but it's Bob Backlund, though. Pretty cool photo, though, of the old school belt. A lot of inscriptions here. Something about oh, being the WWF champion and then the WWF champion. Okay. And WWE champion. So he said WWF, WWE, and WWF. Okay. So the legendary Bob Backlund wrestled since the 70s and um, still going pretty strong today, I guess. All right, here's his um, manager, super rare autograph. This is that fan, Bob Pivroff, and he met Arnold Skolin. So he wrote, to Bob, best wishes, Arnold Skolin. So nice rare signature there of Arnold Skolin in a Hawaiian shirt meeting the fan, Bob Pivroff. Here's a triple signed photo. Um, Mr. Bob Backlund over here. Best wishes, the Sultan here. And then the great, great Iron Cheek who just passed away in the last month or so. So we have Bob Backlund, the Sultan, and the Iron Cheek. So very cool triple sign photo of them together um, when they worked in 96 and 97. Okay. Next we have um, the wrestling commentator from WCW and NWA. His name is Bob Caudill. So we signed down here as Bob Caudill. Next we have Bob Cook. He was like a WCW um, enhancement talent for many years. Bob Cook. Next, we have Bob Holly. So we signed up here, Bob Holly, and there he is, like in his Sparky Plug type gimmick. So Bob Holly with the race car gimmick. Next is a solo one of Cowboy Bob Orton. We saw him earlier with um, his brother um, Barry. So there's Bob Orton. He just signed as Cowboy Bob Orton, though. And there's some smaller photos of him. This is black and white, Cowboy Bob Orton. And there he is on a piece of paper, Cowboy Bob Orton. So some cool Orton signatures. All right, after Bob Orton, we got Bobby Eaton, who has since passed away. It's a nice one there of beautiful Bobby Eaton. And this is a cool um, triple signed Dangerous Alliance picture. It came from our pal ESS. So Bobby Eaton signed it down over there. Medusa signed it over here by her head, and Arn Anderson with the four signed it over there. So everybody except Paulie Dangerously signed this one. So you have Bobby Eaton, Medusa, and Arn Anderson. Triple signed photo there of some Dangerous Alliance members. Next we have the father of Dylan Hines, Bobby Fulton. He wrote Bobby Fulton, The Fantastics. This one came from Bill Paley at Wrestling Incorporated. So there's Bobby Fulton. Next, we have Bobby the Brain Heenan, and he wrote Bobby the Brain Heenan, WWE Hall of Fame, March 13th, 2004. There he signed over there as Bobby Heenan in blue. So very nice picture there of the brain, Bobby Heenan. And in the back, this is an original WWF promo picture. It's not autographed or anything like that, but it's from Primetime Wrestling in 88 with a birthday cake. Of Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan. I got this directly from Gorilla Monsoon's daughter, Valerie. So nice one there of Bobby Heenan with Gorilla Monsoon. Not signed, but a cool original promo picture. Here's another one of Bobby Heenan. Signed up here. This is on a WWE photo file from 2014. Bobby Heenan. 
Next, we have Bobby Lashley, signed over here. It's a pretty cool photo there of a WWE promo picture from 2006 of Bobby Lashley. Next, we have a rare gimmick. I don't know what federation she's from. Her name is Bobcat, though. It says, Love Bobcat. So there she is, some diva named Bobcat. Not sure what federation she's from. I got this from a guy named Todd McNall. Bobcat. This is a rare one of the Body Donnas. So he wrote here, Chris Candido skit. And um, I guess Tom Pritchard will not sign his zips. He just wrote Dr. Tom Pritchard. Nothing with zip in it. But there's Candido and Pritchard as the Body Donnas when they were skipping zip. And pretty cool, Candido did write skip in it um, in quotation marks. And we got that. And I said Dr. Tom Pritchard up there on top. Body Donnas. I'm actually currently reading um, Chris Candido's biography. It's pretty interesting. Should have finished probably within a week or so. Uh, here we have Nikolai Volkov. And this one's personalized to me by Boris Zukov. So all my best, Boris Zukov. This is the Bolsheviks, of course. So Boris originally sent this to me, signed by the flag, and I mailed it to Nikolai later. So very cool to have the Bolsheviks together. And they like to go, Hello, hold, hello, you know, singing the Russian national anthem. Here's another Bolshevik picture. Nikolai signed down there. Boris signed over here. I think this job in the background might be Omar Atlas, but um, I'm not going to send this out to him, though, because Nikolai's dead. So pretty cool picture there of the Bolsheviks. Nikolai over here. Boris Zukov over there. So nice dual signed photo. Our next picture is, I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm coming to get you. So this guy was around like in, uh, I believe, 05, 06, 07, maybe even 08. There he is, the Boogeyman. He had a long undefeated streak for a long time, too. Love to eat his worms. Puts him in Jillian Hall's skirt and stuff. There's a second one of the Boogeyman. Signed over here, Boogeyman, and there he is eating his worms in all his glory. He loves those worms, the Boogeyman. Next is Booker T. Signed up here as Booker T. Here he is on a photo file from WCW in 98. Red background. Signed up there as Booker T. From Harlem Heat. Alright. And there in the back of that Booker, uh, same Booker T thing, you see proof from the signing of where I got it from. So this is Booker T doing the signing in 99 in Joplin, Missouri. All right, next is a WWE photo file from 2006. This is when he was King Booker. So it says, King Booker, WCW champion five-time, Hall of Fame, um, whatever year he went in. I don't know if it's 2012 or 2013. I can't tell. But there it is, King Booker, after he won the SmackDown World title from Rey Mysterio Jr. in 2006. Very nice shot there of King Booker. And speaking of King Booker, here he is with his queen, Charmel. So he wrote King Booker up here, and she signed it Queen Charmel over there. So nice dual signed photo of King Booker and Queen Charmel. Next we have another dual signed photo. We have the Booty Man, which is Ed Leslie, Brutus Beefcake, and Kimberly Page, who was the Booty Girl. So she wrote the Booty Girl, Kimberly Page. And then of course you have the Booty Man, who is Brutus Beefcake, Ed Leslie. So nice dual sign photo of them on a WCW 96 promo type picture. Next we have Los Barriqua, signed by all four members. So you have Savio Vega here. You have um, Jesus there. You have Jose Estrada Jr. there. And um, what was the fourth guy's name? Um, Jose... I, I forgot all their names. There's there's four members though, of Los Bariquas though. So you have Savio, Jesus, Jose, and um, was it Juan? No, I I, I forgot off the top of my head. But this is the signed by all four members though of Los Bariquas. Okay. All right. Next we have Brad Armstrong signed over here. We saw the triple sign Armstrong family photo earlier. There's a solo one though of Brad Armstrong, a nice American jacket and blue trunks. Brad Armstrong. This is a rare guy He's from the AWA and briefly appeared in the WWF. His name was Brad Renegades. I think he helped train some people in Minneapolis and stuff. So right here, Brad Renegades signed there. There he is catching um, the boot of his opponent in a match. Brad Renegades. So again, close up on the signature. 
Next, we have a super rare one of Brady Boone, who also played Battle Cat. And you can see right here, signed in blue as Brady Boone up there. So very cool photo there of Brady Boone. Next, we have the Brain Busters, along with Bobby Heenan. So it's triple sign. So Tolly Blanchard over here with his um, Bible inscription. Bobby Heenan here on top. And Arn Anderson over there by his forearm. So again, triple sign of Brain Busters. Um, Magazine page turned into an 8x10 there. So nice triple sign one of Tolly, Heenan, and Arn. All right, next one is a dual sign Brain Buster pitcher. So this is Tolly Blanchard with the inscription. And Arn Anderson both signed in red. There they are with the World Wrestling Federation tag team titles. The Brain Busters, Tolly Blanchard, and Arn Anderson. Next, we have Cody Rhodes' wife, Brandy Rhodes. So there she is. And signed over here in blue as Brandy Rhodes. Next, we have um, the guy who starts in Buddy Lee Parker. He's called Braun the Leprechaun as part of the Dungeon of Doom in 96. So he's on WCW Pro. It says Braun the Leprechaun. And he's ready to go nuts and run around the ring. So Braun the Leprechaun. All right, speaking of Braun, so we have Braun Strowman. This came from Steve Hurry. He's about to give, I believe, Roman Reigns or somebody in the shield the uh, splash off the top rope. So sign there as Braun Strowman. And speaking of Wyatt family members, there's Bray Wyatt. That's JSA cert, which means it's real. So there he is with the championship belt, Bray Wyatt. Very nice picture. Looks like it's in an illumination chamber or something. There in the back is the JSA ticket. This is another cool JSA certed dual sign one. So it's Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss. So like they had that weird gimmick here, with like the swings and being strange, uh, the funhouse thing. So Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss, and there they are in the the funhouse type gimmick, dual sign JSA certed. There again, there's the JSA ticket. Um, another dual sign JSA certed one. We have Bray Wyatt here and the legend killer Randy Orton there. So I guess they were the tag team champions at one point. I don't, again, I don't follow current products. I don't know much. But there they are, Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. Nice dual signed photo of the two of them with the tag team titles. And there in the back, there's the JSA cert. Next, we have Brett the Hitman Hart signed up here. Really nice photo of him. There is with the World Wrestling Federation Championship. So I don't know if this is during his first reign or second reign, but the cool eagle wing belt that he's um, symbolic with. And Brett the Hitman Hart with the title. And there's the cert for that one. All right, here's another one with the Intercontinental title. Brett the Hitman Hart again. Very nice in that blue paint pen with the IC belt. Nice one of the Hitman Bret Hart. Here's another small photo of Bret Hart. Signed by him, Brett the Hitman Hart. This one's triple signed here. Uh, this is after WrestleMania 10 when he won the world title. It says Brett the Hitman Hart, Lex Luger, and Ayo Chico the bad guy, Reza Ramon. So there's Brett on the shoulders of Luger and Ramon. Triple signed to WrestleMania 10. Again, Brett the Hitman Hart, Lex Luger, and Razor Ramon. All right, another one of Bret Hart. This one's dual sign. He's got the sharpshooter on his opponent. It's signed by Bret the Hitman Hart here in the blue paint pen. And also in the blue paint pen, Jean-Pierre Lafitte, who plays PCO now. They had a match at um, In Your House, September 95. And there's Bret Hart giving him the sharpshooter. He's ready to submit. Dual signed by Bret Hart <coughs> and Jean-Pierre Lafitte. Another dual sign Bret Hart one. It's Bret Hart and Bill Goldberg when they were the um, tag team champions in WCW. So it says Brett the Hitman Hart over there, Bill Goldberg over here in blue, and they are ready to give out a nice tag team title match, I guess, between the Hitman and Goldberg. All right, another one, Bret Hart dual sign, might be the last one for now. Let's see. Brett the Hitman Hart signed in pink, and then Natalia Nightheart up here also in pink. So it says Love Natty with the heart. And over here it says Bret the Hitman Hart. So there it is. A nice dual sign photo there of Bret Hart and Natalia Nightheart. And that one is actually JSA certed too right there. 
Okay. No, no, um, didn't come with the sticker, but I mean the the ticket, the card, you know. This one I got directly from my pal Brian Blair. So he wrote to my friend Todd B. Brian Blair, and there he is with some um, Southern heavyweight title that he won in a different organization. B. Brian Blair of the Killer Bees. Hi, Joe McCosey. Welcome to the show. Just going through my 8x10 personal collection. We're on binder two. Um, next we have two sexy, Grandmaster Sexy Brian Christopher. So sign Brian Christopher over there. And two sexy up here. So nice one there of Brian Christopher on a 1998 WWF promo type picture. Next we have like an enhancement kind of jobber talent named Brian Costello. Signed over there. There he is in his steel cage ready to fight. Brian Costello. Again signed here in blue. This one's signed by Brian Lee. Um, he's also um, chains from DOA. And he signed it as Primetime Brian Lee. Here he is managed by Sonny in the USWA. And she's got the or Smoky Mountain Wrestling. She got the Smoky Mountain title. And a young Brian Lee with Tammy Lynn Sitch, also known as Sunny, just signed though by Brian Lee in this case. There's another one of Brian Lee. Hard to see because dark on dark. Signed right there, Brian Lee. This is when he was chains in the WWF. Signed as Brian Lee though. Next is a super rare autograph. It's Brian Pillman. And he signed it right here as Brian Pillman, right there in the blue. So pretty cool signature there. So there he is, flying Brian Pillman. Not many autographs of him out there. There he is right there, a Brian Pillman. You're not going to see this too often. All right, there's his son, Brian Pillman Jr., right here. So we go from Brian Pillman to Brian Pillman Jr. Next we have Brie Bella. We saw Bella combos earlier. This one's only signed by Brie though. So Brie Bella, just relaxing with her um, comfortable clothes and showing off her manicure, I guess, or something. Brie Bella. Next we have Dr. Britt Baker. And she's signed right here, Dr. Britt. There she is with the AW, AEW woman's title. So Dr. Britt Baker, woman's champion of AEW. This is Santana Garrett when she's briefly known as Brittany. She was a good friend of Scott Hall. She was trained to be in the business. I don't know how she's doing now, but she was known as Brittany at the time, and her real name is Santana Garrett. There she is. All right, next we have Brock Lesnar. So he's kind of tough to get as well. Pretty cool on a WWE 2002 promo type picture. Brock Lesnar. So there's the graph. All right, next we have a triple sign brood pitcher. So we have Edge over here. You have Gangrel here in the middle. And then you have Christian on the right. I think I think his, these graphs go for like $100. And when I bought it, it was probably like 30 or 35 But there's a triple sign brood pitcher of Edge, Gangrel, and Christian. So again, Edge, Gangrel, Christian. Very nice triple sign photo of the brood. Here's another um, triple sign one. So we have Brooke, um, Brooke Adams or Brooke Tessmacher, I guess he's going. So it says, love Brooke. Taryn Tyrell right here. And then Gail Kim. So it looks like they're doing some kind of car wash type thing or something like that. And it's triple signed by these divas, um, Brooke, Taryn Tyrell, and Gail Kim. All right, next we have Hulk Hogan's daughter. It says Brooke Hogan. So it says Brooke with the star. So that's Brooke Hogan on a beach in a bikini. Next we have the Brooklyn Brawler, Steve Lombardi. There he is, Brooklyn Brawler. Finkel about ready to ring announce him. Pretty cool one there of the Brooklyn Brawler. Next we have a dual sign photo of Brooklyn Brawler and Bobby Heenan. Bobby Heenan, a little hard to see because dark on dark. But you can see right here, um, Bobby Heenan. I hope, yeah, see, I think you can see that. It's kind of like black on black or blue. So hard to see, but... Bobby Heenan, and then easily to see in the silver is the Brooklyn Brawler. So again, nice dual signed photo of the Brain and the Brooklyn Brawler. Next we have Brother Live. Ah, Live, you there he is with his book of love, ready to cut a promo. Brother Live. Next we have Bruce Hart. 
It's one of Bret Hart's brothers, Bruce Hart. He's with Brian Pillman in the picture, but only signed by Bruce Hart. That one came from High Spots. You see their cert. This um, is signed by Bruno San Martino in an old school 1970, February of 79 wrestling program from Madison Square Garden. See, it only cost a dollar back then. So Bruno San Martino on a program. Very nice signature. And this one is definitely certed too. Yep. It's got the JSA cert right here with the ticket. Here's another one of Bruno San Martino. Sold one of him in the locker room with his title belt. Signed there by Bruno San Martino. All right, next we have Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Signed over here in blue as Brutus Beefcake. There he is in pink and white, Brutus Beefcake. There's another one of Brutus Beefcake. There he is with his tag team pelt signed in blue up there. Brutus Beefcake, the Barber. Hi, Brain. Welcome, man. It's going through the binders. I'll post them on YouTube as well. This is um, quadruple signed here of all the gimmicks. So it's Brutus Beefcake, the Zodiac, the Disciple, and the Booty Man. So it's this quadruple sign of all four gimmicks. So Beefcake, Zodiac, Disciple, and Booty Man. He's also the Butcher and you know also uh, Running Man, the Mariner, but very cool uh, quadruple sign one. Braden Rochester will be at the gathering with his dad, Brad. So you guys should go say hello to them when they see T-Mart in uh, North Carolina. And uh, was that uh, two or three weeks, Braden? Next, we have Buddy Landell. So the nature boy, Buddy Landell. Not, not many graphs of him out there. Here's Sergeant Buddy Lee Parker. I got this from um, a signing. Um, I think it was K&S that did. I'm trying to remember, though. He wrote... One half of the State Patrol, WCW 1989 to 2001, Sergeant Buddy Lee Parker. It'd be cool to get his um, partner, James Earl Wright, to do a signing, but nobody can seem to find him. I know I got James Earl Wright on a card through the mail once, but I'd love to get him like on a State Patrol 8x10. So we have Parker, though, right here. We saw Braun the Leprechaun earlier, so there he is, a Sergeant Buddy Lee Parker. Nice inscription. Next, we have Playboy Buddy Rose, the king of the blow-away diet. He signed it as Buddy Rose here in the corner. And this is like a, this thing up here is like a reprint. This is the actual signature over here. It says Buddy Rose. On the scale, very cool, the blow away diet. Next we have Buff Bagwell. He signed up here, Buff Bagwell. NWO for life. So there he's in the ring. Buff the Stuff Bagwell. There's another one of Buff Bagwell in a smaller picture. Next, we have Bull Buchanan. He also teamed up with the Big Boss Man, who later was in Right to Censor. So, Bull Buchanan. This is when um, he was more of like the, the cop gimmick and teamed up with the Big Boss Man. We saw Boss Man earlier in this collection. Here's Bull Nakano. Um, I think I got this from a signing from... Um, damn, what's that guy's name? Captain's Corner. So, she wrote WWF Women's Champion, Bull Nakano. And there she signed it right there, Bull Nakano. Next up is Bully Ray or Bubba Ray Dudley. He signed here as Bully Ray, though. So we have Bully Ray Dudley. And next we have Bunkhouse Book. Yeah, Bunkhouse. Yeah, very funny man as part of Colonel Parker's stable around 94, 95, 96. I think he still wrestled in 97 even. But Bunkhouse Buck. And that's going to wrap up binder number two. I think I'm going to take a break for a while. We'll try to get to binder three soon. Said I have more free time this summer, so we'll get to these binders and maybe see some other things in the collection down the road. Have a good everybody. I'll post this on YouTube later.